everyone, Yvette here from Food Cravers Kitchen and today I am sprouting seeds. I am going to sprout them in water and I don't need any soil, just a mason jar. Anybody can do this and they are rich in vitamins, enzymes and minerals. Probably the richest source that you can get in a vegetable. So that's why a lot of people do them. You can do them year round. Uh, you don't need soil and you can do them in your own kitchen. You don't need light. Um, there's a lot you don't need. So basically, you just need a mason jar. You need a top that you can get a little screen to put in the top. This actually is a screen that I've cut out. You can use something like, I use this for doing almond milk and cashew milk, something like that. Anything that kind of allows water to pass through and a lot of air to come back in. So all I'm going to do is take my tablespoon or two, depends on what you want to do. I probably only need a tablespoon because I have all these to use up. And you're just going to add water to, to cover them, plenty. It doesn't really matter how much if it's just above it, but you want to give them room to circulate. And you're just going to put your lid on and that'll be for about probably about six to eight hours, anywhere in there. And I can just pour it right in the top. So that's it, six to eight hours, let them sit. And then after that six to eight hours, I am gonna take them to my sink and I'm just gonna drain them up. And once they're drained, I am going to find a container that I can just lay them in, that they'll lay in sideways. doesn't matter if the, this part of the ring touches, but you don't want to sit them this way because you don't want them sitting in their own water. So as long as you can lean them on the side, that's fine. Then after, this, after that, that's morning, then you're going to do that at night. So morning, night, you're going to cold rinse them. After about four days, you have little sprouts like this. They've germinated, they've got a tiny little root, and there they are. Maybe this shows a little better. And that's it. Now, what you can do, if you really wanted to move into something else and you like the, um, the sunflower microgreens, those are my favorite. I soak the seeds for three or four days and then move them into some soil and then I feel like I have a tiny little garden but then I also can take off these shoots and just eat them. They're very tasty, very nutritious and the reason that people do sprouts as well is because they detox the body and they build the immune system. So. If you could do something like that for yourself every day and not have to go to a store, uh, why wouldn't you? Add it to some of your other foods and just enjoy them. Put them in a smoothie if you want to. If you don't really like the texture or taste, put them in a smoothie. And that's it. I hope you enjoy and I hope you'll give it a try. It's so easy and it's so good for you. So let me know how you make out and if you try it. Love to hear from you. Bye.